Hello and welcome to VPC! My name is Miranda and in this video I will be explaining what is SLI and how does it work. SLI stands for Scalable Link Interface and it's a technology that allows you to use two or more graphics cards in the same setup. It achieves this by using a parallel processing algorithm which takes the information, breaks it down into smaller pieces and allows for multiple pieces to be worked on at once by multiple cards. So what do you need in order to run SLI? Well, firstly you need to get at least two graphics cards that will pair together. It can be different brands, as long as it has the same specs, it will work. You will also need to make sure that the graphic cards are SLI compatible themselves. The same goes for your motherboard and power supply. And the last thing you will need to run your SLI setup is an SLI bridge. NVIDIA uses a physical connector to bridge the graphics cards together, allowing them to communicate with each other. You will need one of two SLI bridges, either the standard bridge for less powerful cards or a high bandwidth bridge for the more powerful cards. Graphics cards will work together in SLI in three main modes – SLI anti-aliasing, SFR and AFR. SLI anti-aliasing mode allows a better image quality, as opposed to pushing higher frame rates. It works to split the anti-aliasing workload between the cards, increasing the overall quality of your image. SFR or split frame rendering method takes the frame that needs to be rendered analyzes it and then splits up the frame horizontally into as many pieces as there are cards and sends the workload between them. It can split the frame how it sees based on what's in the frame. And the third mode is AFR or alternate frame rendering. In this mode, the frames are queued up and each card renders a full frame. So if you are running two cards, then one would be responsible for even numbered frames while the other would be responsible for odd-numbered frames. This is often considered more effective than SFR for achieving higher frame rates, but it can also cause issues such as micro-stuttering. The biggest problem with this technology is that the games don't natively know how to properly use multiple video cards, and SLI profiles have to be added into them by the developers. This is not an easy task and can be very time-consuming, so most developers don't take the time. This means that unless you're playing a AAA game, it's possible that there will be no performance increase. It's entirely up to you and your needs if you want to get this technology or you would rather just save up for a completely new graphics card. Well, that was it guys, our rundown of the SLI technology. You can find more information on this in the article that you will find in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and let us know in the comments what do you think about this technology. Please give us a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done this yet. And if you look over there, you will see a video that we know you're going to like. Thanks again guys!